Hi guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan. And we're taking a look at this auction purchase of an Audi S3 Quattro with six speed manual transmission. Bought from auction and we're going to be exporting this one to Canada. It has the 1.8 liter T engine. People who are unfamiliar with the engines won't realize this is a five valve per cylinder engine. And so if you're one of the people on the channel that only likes JDM cars, uh, then there aren't very many JDM cars that run the five valve. This is a very common Volkswagen and Audi engine. Toyota had a five valve, but they stopped producing it. It was in the uh, AE 101 and AE 111 cars. It is a turbocharged engine and uh, you know, it's an engine that Volkswagen has had around for a while. Everyone seems to love it a lot. And so, very good. We'll take a look at the uh, body, walk around, interior, exterior, and all of that. But before we get into it, let's take a look at the auction sheet here. And so, 2001, June, Audi S3, 1800 cc engine. This is an auction grade 4.5 interior and exterior B. Now, typically a 4.5 wouldn't have some of the mi mistakes that are on this car. Uh, the auction sheet doesn't have any mistakes. What I mean by mistakes is the P2 on the hood and the S1 on the roof. So P2 is paint damage. And see what happened with the hood on this one. See it there? So the car was parked underneath some sort of metal piping and the chemicals when mixed with the rainwater and the metal piping caused the paint to be stained or damaged there. The only way to repair that would be to repaint the hood. Okay, now S1 is rust and it has some slight bubbling in the rust in this section here. Now, without actually taking the paint off, you can't tell how bad the rust is underneath. It will need to be ground down and repainted can see it on this angle probably the most. Okay. Now beside those two things, the car doesn't really have any uh, any problems. And so let's go over the rest of the sheet. 90,000 kilometers on it. Original black color. Six speed manual. Purchase from user, a lot of people ask what this means. It just means that the dealer sold a car to a customer and this was their car that they traded in and then it went to auction, which is very typical in Japan for the cars to go immediately to auction because most dealers don't have used cars. Like if you go to Toyota, Mazda, Audi, Volkswagen, they won't have used cars typically. Okay, interior is dirty. Seat has slight wear. I would call that not slight wear. I would just call that wear. I'll show you in a sec end panel U1 and so that's a small dent on the metal underneath the bumper moldings scratched molding is these sections here it's really not that bad not even worth mentioning in my mind and aftermarket wheels now they don't mention it is a set of aftermarket NK wheels they look great on the car it's a nice high-end wheel and they have Potenza tires that still have lots of life left on them it's a nice win there Okay, and then back to the body, light scratches. The back has a medium scratch, and then the other two I already got to. The G means uh, some sort of glass damage. Typically it means a rock chip on it. Rock chips are usually too small to even find. Less than one millimeter, like for example this one here. And then the windshield also has some of this uh, paint, not paint, chemicals from metal and a little bit on the roof okay so let's take a look at the walk around now with those wheels it looks more aggressive than the s3 usually does the s3 being a four-wheel drive turbocharged small car is a cool little package we didn't get these in Canada we didn't even get the a3 and so it is a uh, it's a cooler car than you're able to get in Canada. People who are into Volkswagens will notice it immediately, like, oh my god, he's got one of those cars. I wish I had one. This is our second one that we've sold, and the other one that I sold was to a, uh, a close and personal friend of mine. And uh, his, unfortunately, had a number of gremlin problems that are Volkswagen, Audi-type problems. This one seems to have nothing wrong with it at the moment. 
but luckily it's being sold to somebody who works at an Audi dealership, in fact is the general manager. And so, he's got all of the guys working there that can repair anything that goes wrong. Okay, so the aluminum mirrors here have a little bit of uh, like a dull dulling effect from time. There is a small dent in the back quarter here. Okay. The rear has a little bit of that paint problem there. Now this one is left-hand drive, not right-hand drive like cars usually are in Japan. A lot of German cars, uh, especially the sports versions, will be German spec. Here's the A2 on the back. And it looks like the trunk, probably trunk, hood, and roof could be used to be uh, repainted. Anyway, back to what I was saying. German cars here depreciate quickly. And so because of that, you can usually get them for a pretty good deal. These S3s are not super common at auction, so if you want to buy one, it might take a little bit of time. But I think that you can get them for a pretty good deal, even after all of your import taxes and stuff, considering how cool they are, especially for a Canadian market. Okay, those are stock Recaro seats. They come two-tone with whatever color your car is. This one's a black car, so you get the black and gray two-tone. If you get a blue car, you get blue seats. Actually, I keep forgetting this is our third one of these I've sold to Canada. Pardon me. Okay, leather wrapped steering wheel in really good shape. Gauge cluster is not missing any of its pixels, which is a problem on most of these. It's a really nice modern looking dashboard with heated seats, six speed manual transmission. The car runs the same chassis as the Audi TT does which doesn't get enough credit, probably because of the looks of the TT, which are polarizing. I really like the TT and the way that it looks. A lot of people think that the car is uh, rather feminine looking. Um, to each their own, I think it's great. But if you can get it with a lighter weight package like you can in the S3, or pardon me, S3 here, I think it's a better vehicle overall. Okay, everything works as it should here. Show you the rear seats. Rear seats are a little bit, the doors are huge, so it's really easy to get in. But you don't get any rear doors. And so you have to pull this one here and then pull the seat forward, which one handed is a little bit challenging. Aftermarket super gangster thing there to put your drink. Uh, the car doesn't have any drink holders other than this one small one here that can only fit like a 355 mil can and so they've installed these into the car so they can have lots of drinks okay going into the back here i'm going to mention probably the biggest thing that the auction sheet missed and something kind of weird that they would miss on a car such as this the headliner is saggy now it is still sticky it'll still stick up and so possibly when the person sold it he just like used a roller on this and then stuck it all up and then the seller didn't notice or the auction didn't notice and then it came down i'm not too sure but uh common problem on these cars that i've seen that's cool rear lights rear seats match the front ones i believe it's alcantara so it, i guess that's a premium product <clears throat> I'm stuck in the back. Ah, there we go. Let me get out. Put the seat back. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show you the trunk because Grandma had her way with the trunk, and there's a there's a quilt in the back. Take a look at this. Now it's not a real quilt. It's just a pattern that looks like a quilt, <laughs> but it kind of is cool to have that in the back. Underneath, everything looks to be in great shape. Is that a subwoofer? I don't know, air purifier? Can't tell. There's something in there. What's on the other side? 
the audio sounds really nice in this car so not like mine I'm kind of too old for having an aftermarket audio uh, I'm sorry aftermarket audio system in my car but not rich enough to have a car that has a good audio system from standard so I'm at that in-between point and it kind of hurts me anyways <clears throat> that'll be the end of the video hope you enjoyed it this is one of my favorite cars for importing from Japan and so hope you enjoyed watching it thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day